Hi everybody, it's Sherry from Envision Dream. I believe I am the last live of the event and so I am wearing <laughs> my Envision Dream classic vision hoodie that I posted earlier today and I have on one of my turquoise head wraps. So I just kind of wanted to show you a couple of things. I know that Envision Dream, we opened this year in March 2020. And my hope is to grow the business as much as I can. And eventually I'd like to have my own uh, place where people can go in and shop because uh, I'd like to have a few native things in there as well. But again, I'm just using my eye from my logo design to imagine and visualize possibilities for future opportunities. So all of these pieces all together put, to, put together represent your own personal journey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a little bit about what each piece means so that you can uh, maybe understand it a little bit better. So our dream catcher represents Mother Earth and all of the life that sustains us, which is why a dream catcher is a circle, right? Giving protection through the night while sleeping, also known as the sacred medicine wheel used in spiritual healing. Our sea turtle, sea turtle, right? I wanted something with the sea on here, so I used a sea turtle, right? It combines both our inner emotions and time. To have the spirit of the sea turtle means you work with patience, wisdom, and endurance. And we all know that our emotions pretty much are like the waves in the ocean, right? Which is actually um, the moon controls the ocean. Tide, yes. Did you know that one? Anyways, our sun, which is back here behind our mountain of elevation, represents the fire of passions. We use the heat of the flames to influence and impact those around us in a positive light. So the sun is also a ball of fire. Your ball of fire is also your passion, and your passion is what pushes you forward. It can get you through anything, right? So we use our ball of fire and our sunlight not only to shine our talents our creativeness our beauty our light but we also use it to help us elevate up our mountain in our journey okay our eagle our eagle up here which is carrying the sea turtle but coming out of the dream catcher right it allows us to see our vision. So it's going to take our vision that we see here, right? It allows us to see our vision freely while giving us the courage to look toward the future. So remember, the eagle, the eagle can be safe at home, but he takes that vision that you have in your eye and he can fly out across the world and go out on those adventures and give you experiences. And you can always come home. And you take those experiences and that wisdom and you work more on your journey, okay? The mountain of elevation, which is in front of the sun, right? Is our divine inspiration. We have to have a firm foundation and sometimes we don't even know what that foundation is. So we look to our eye. We come up with our imagination. We visualize opportunity, uh, possibilities for future opportunities. And we catch those dreams and those imaginations. Because a lot of times you see those when you're sleeping. And if you know anything about a dream catcher, a dream catcher is going to catch your dreams at least the way I do it. Anyways, so piece together in vision dream is your personal journey. And that's what it represents. So each piece that we do, when you're wearing it, it's really about you. 
I can explain to you what it means to me and how it's helped me, but I also want someone who's wearing it to understand some of the pieces. So what I have for you today, what, I, um, what else I wanted to show you is some of the things that are pretty popular. We have our yoga pants. These are our yoga leggings. They go all the way down to your ankle. And these are the rainbow yoga pants. So we talk about healing and stretching and yoga, yoga on the beach, you know, working out, cycling, exercise, it's good for the health. Why not take your dream with you when you're working out or when you're doing yoga? Personally, I will wear these under pants, especially when it's cold outside. Like today, it was extremely freezing. The ice was all over the deck. But I was able to wear these as like an extra layer, and they're mad comfortable. So you don't just necessarily have to wear them to work out. You can like, you know, wear them to go for a walk on the seawall. You could, I don't know, you could wear them to sit and watch a movie, especially now with COVID, everybody's inside, unless you're in the, you know, in the health field. I also have yoga shorts. Just as comfortable, but instead they're in shorts. I have black, white, turquoise, and pink in sets. As you can see, turquoise is my favorite color. Seeing as I have the head wrap, the shorts, this tank top right here, this is under the workout apparel because this is kind of tight, so it kind of holds you in. So when you're working out, that's what these are good for. I also have the capris. Notice I am pretty much, I got a lot of turquoise going on. My grandmother, native, you know, turquoise. So we also have it in the capri. You can get this as a set. You could buy it one by one over time. But these are some of my favorites. My first set of yoga capris were the white ones. Right? And what I did with these was I would actually wear them with my white <laughs> Vision Dream classic Vision sweatshirt. And I would wear this honestly around the campfire. They're mad comfortable. So I'm just showing you a few that I actually have here. So I've had the products, I've tried them on, other people have tried them on. I also have the capris in pink. So I have the pink head wrap, tank top, and capri yoga pants for workout sets. Our most popular yoga pants or capris are the black. These are our most popular quite a few people who have actually gotten these again they're wicked comfortable but a lot of people like to wear black I like all kinds of colors so you can always get a workout outfit whether it's in the black the white the pink the turquoise and head wrap lady I am the head wrap lady yes I am I am the head wrap lady I have the head wrap in black so you can wear that with your black outfit. I call this the night vision. You want to know why? Because the logo is white, right? And the background is black. In your classic vision, you've got a white background with a black logo design. I'm also into learning a lot more about spiritual healing. So I am pretty much into that whole yin yang and how they you know, intertwine and balance each other off and one can't live without the other. The red, the red, the red. You wanna go on a hot date? 
the red. Red is popular with the guys. The red is popular with the guys. This is the pride. I wanted to add some pride in there because we are very diverse here at Envision Dream. And I wear this one a lot too. I love being diverse. I love all cultures. Orange, I did orange because of Halloween. I have the hot pink. I told you I'm the head wrap lady, so I'll wear different colors depending on what my outfit is and what color I want to go with. I have the hot pink that goes with the pink. So you can get them as sets. The white, the white and the turquoise um, have those I sell more of. I don't know why, I just do. Um, like I said, the red, most of the men buy the red. And then I have purple. I know, this is my little container. So I put them all around here. I actually have a few head wraps in stock here at my house. So if you really wanted to get a head wrap and you're looking for a stocking stuffer, just like hit me up and I'll see what I have and hopefully I have the color that you want in stock. The newest head wrap that I just created was from my um, Trapped Ruby collection. So Envision Dream has three collections. We have Envision Dream, we have Trapped Ruby, and then we have Tribe Vibe. So Envision Dream, again, it's about your own personal journey, you know, visualizing possibilities for future opportunities, right? And just by doing this event and meeting with everybody here, now I'm doing another event, you know? So it's just opening more doors, okay? Now, this is just one of my goals and one of my journeys. I also have a health and wellness journey. You know, I have a money journey. So there's many different ways you can incorporate this into your journey, okay? But getting back to the um, Trapped Ruby. Trapped Ruby is a ruby that is in the base or in the middle of what looks like a spider web. So a ruby is a stone, okay? And it also means stone of divine creativity. So I believe that we all are a stone and it's, it's deep within us. We all have talent, we all have creativity. Some use it, some don't. Some know how to bring it out and let it shine, right? But if you really think about it, we're all trapped. We're all trapped in the web of life or we're all trapped in the World Wide Web. Now for me, it even goes even further. My kids' last name is Web. So growing up, they liked Spider-Man, you know, with the web. And I'm the mom, I was the rock. I'm the rock of the family. So I'm that stone. So that's what it represents to me, but it can always mean something different for you. I love my trapped ruby. I have it in mugs, I have it in hats, I have it in, I just did the head wrap, I have it in yoga pants, I have it in sweatshirts, and I have it in tank tops and shirts, okay? The next, <laughs> Uh, collection that we have is tribe vibe and I'm still working on the tribe vibe you know your tribe you vibe with your tribe it could be anything I I could vibe with my high school going to Narragansett I could vibe with the fishermen in Galilee I could vibe with uh, the Narragansett tribe or the Pequot tribe I could vibe with those who listen to the same music as me. But I listen to all kinds of music. So it just depends on where I'm at, who I'm meeting. I could vibe with someone there. Um, it could be when I'm at work in the health field, vibing with the health field. It could be, you know, 
It could be meeting someone I've never met before and just completely vibing with them on the same energy wavelength. You know, rhythm and roots. And so Tribe Vibe has a lot of different variety because as I'm creating that collection, I'm creating it for different vibes. There is no such thing as one vibe. There's a variety of vibes. Uh, similar to moods, right? You could be in a bad mood, you could be in a good mood, you can be in a gullible mood, you know, same thing. So tribe vibe has a lot more to do with emotions and music tends to help us deal with our emotions. And so I tend to vibe more with people on, I don't know, on a music level. Sometimes I vibe with people on a spiritual level. I have my tribe vibe with spirits. I have my tribe vibe with, you know, travelers. I have my uh, tribe vibe with the tribe, <laughs> nature, um, city life. You know, there's all different vibes. And so as I'm building that collection, I'm building the tribe vibe for, off of different vibes, really. There's no one frequency. Okay, so. Also wanted to show you, since I know Melissa, you're here. Ah! I wasn't going to wear it today. My rock and roll my rock and roll and vision dream shirt. So yes, this is your journey, but your journey is backed by a heart filled rainbow. Rainbow gifted from the sky. It can have many different meanings. Most people will say that a rainbow represents hope and faith. A heart represents love, but if you look even deeper, this is the rainbow flag for the LGBTQ community, which really represents immense diversity. So when you're on your journey, just know that this piece right here is really about having your whole heart in your journey. If your whole heart is in it, Nothing's going to stop you. You may have bad days. You may fall to the ground, but you will get back up. Do you want to know why? Because your heart's going to be there with you if your heart is in it. And nobody needs to tell you that. You have to look deep within. But your journey, proudly to wear, is diverse. It's love. It's hope. It's faith. This is your complete journey. I also want to show you, right now I am using my Sip and Think mug. So I have different varieties of Sip and Think mugs. This is my classic vision. You know, they have different rim colors. Basically the rim colors are yellow, blue, black, and red, right? I took things a little bit further. I took the rainbow heart and put it on the mug as well. I created this mug with colors behind it. So there is, you can, if you like purple, you can get purple. You can get blue, you can get green, you can get red. And that's another style of the mug. The Sip and Think mug, these are great gifts. They're, they're quick and easy. I do have a couple of Classic Vision. These are my Classic Vision mugs. I have a couple of those in stock at home, so if you are looking for a last minute gift and you wanna grab one of these, awesome, just hit me up and I'll get it to you. You can fill these up with hot chocolate, tea, coffee, put a little baggie around it and give it out as a nice little gift. Okay, I don't know if you're going to do it for teachers, for family members. I know um, right now a lot of people are struggling with money, so sometimes a nice little gift, little gesture, right? 
How this came about was because I like to talk. I like to chat. And so I figured, why not do a sip and think? So we came up with this mug in different styles that you can choose from. You can collect them all if you want to. They're actually, I would say they're collector's items. But, um, like, you should see my cupboards right now. <laughs> I've got all my, my sip and think mugs. But the, I know, I'm trying to rush. I'm sorry. I have another phone call I have to get on for work. Um, love the black in the new style. I know. I, I love it, too. Um, there's so many different ways you can, you can use these mugs. Me personally, I have Sherry's Dream Catcher as well, and that's where I do my sip and think chats. I'm trying to formulate, um, a more consistent way of doing it. And a lot of times I'll just say, hey, you want to sip and chat and we can use our mugs. Back, I would say, maybe a year or two ago before I started even doing any of this, I used to just get on live with a cup of coffee and talk. And I was like, why don't I just formalize this? So that's what I did, and that's what my sip and think is. So if you want to, after today, follow at Sherry's Dreamcatcher on Instagram, that would be awesome. And then you'd be able to see some of our sip and think chats and, you know, maybe engage with us and come up with some ideas and topics to talk about. Nothing is out of the picture. I will talk about anything. Honestly, I am not afraid to talk about anything. I'm literally not afraid to talk about anything. What I don't like to do is talk about other people's business because that's not my business. And the other thing I'm not allowed to talk about because of HIPAA laws and regulations is what I do at my day job in the health field. So with that, everybody, I want you to envision, capture, and roam. Go after your dreams. I don't care if COVID is here. There is still something that you can do. Believe me, there's still something you can do. We have to have a purpose to keep going because if we don't keep going, we are going to fall into what COVID wanted us to fall into. That's just my personal opinion. That's not anybody else's opinion. That is just my opinion. Um, so continue to visualize possibilities for future opportunities. You got to take it one day at a time and... You know, I wish you all a happy holiday. I hope I'll see some of you, whether it's online or maybe in passing in our vehicles. And I truly, truly appreciate the opportunity to introduce Envision Dream to all of you. And I hope you stay engaged and enjoy what we've got to offer. So have an awesome night, everybody. Thank you.